Hello, my friends. Good morning if you're on the Pacific Coast and good afternoon if you're on the East Coast and if you're somewhere else, uh, good hello. <laughs> my name is Stephanie Bernard and along with my husband, Ken, who is off camera but usually has a mic, uh, we own a company called The Stamps of Life and welcome to Stephanie's Crafting Corner where we get together live every Thursday at 11 a.m. Pacific time and we make a card. Now, um, Kenny, I would love to say hi to everybody on the chat but I really can't see it. <clears throat> but hi Cynthia in High Desert, California. Hi Jennifer. Um, hi Ginny in Texas. Thank you, babe. That's good. Um, hi Barbara in Redding, California. I have a feeling Redding, California is near where my parents are visiting. They went to Mammoth in Yosemite this week. So I have a feeling. Um, thank you. She, Barbara's saying congrats on 12 years. Yes. So officially this month, the Stamps of Life has been in existence for 12 years. Now, when we started this company, Kenny, did you ever, did you, is your mic on? Not yet. Okay. Um, did you ever think that we would um, be here 12 years later? Uh, I didn't know where we would be in 12 <laughs> years. <laughs> yeah, you never know where you're going to be in 12 years, right? Well, we are here and we're really excited. I'm thrilled about that because... Um, I get to do what I love, and I'm excited that um, some of you are on this journey with us, which really uh, makes me more even happy um, because it's just, it's, it's, it's amazing. It's amazing. Hi, Reagan in Colorado. Hi, Marilyn. Uh, good morning, Sherry. Hi, Lori. Um, all the hellos are coming in still. Hi, Cindy. Hi, Christy. Hi, Sherry. Hi, Gretchen. Hi, Olivia. Hi, Elvira, is that right? Oh, pretty name. Um, hi, Pharrell. Hi, Darlene. Oh, Darlene says hi, Ken, even though his mic's not even on. I know you're so nice, Marlene. Um, hi, Don. He has to put in all these codes into every all these things once we go live. He has to do all this weird coding stuff still. Um, Jaylene says, J yeah, Jaylene says, 12 years, congrats. Thank you. Hi, Lois from the high desert. Hi, Brenda. Um, hi, Gloria, my love. Hi, Kelly. Um, Kelly says, we love what you do for us. Well, thank you. Thank you. Um, Aileen says, happy 12 years. Hi, Jan. Hi, Gloria. And apparently, <laughs> see, I don't know everything that happens at, at the company because I, you know, you can only put so much in this brain, right? And I'd rather focus on creative stuff than the nitty gritty spreadsheet stuff. The less spreadsheets I have to look at, the better. <laughs> um, but we had a huge uh, social media contest slash whatever, yesterday, because it was our 12 year anniversary. And so I have some, um, I have some uh, special gift certificates to give out today to the winners. So that's really exciting. Um, Deborah says, I hope you have a healthy, uh, have a happy safe day. Thank you, thank you. Oh, Jacqueline says this is her anniversary month also. She's been with us two years. Yay, that's fantastic, Jacqueline. Awesome. Um, Kenny, I printed something on that printer. Can you hand that top page to me? Thank you, dear, just the top. <clears throat> so here are the list of the winners from yesterday. We'll still have some winners today. Um, Tracy says, I love this month's stamp and dies. Thank you. I do too. And I love how versatile they are where you can use the wreath without the bow or the wreath with the bow or the wreath with the add-on flowers from the other set. Um, I'm actually going to use the other die set today, the add-on set. It is still on flash sale. I haven't had a chance to get over there and change it. So if you missed it, you still have a chance because for the next hour at least, probably two hours because I have a meeting at 12.15. Um, so for the next two hours, it's still going to be on flash sale. Then it will be taken off flash sale. So just a heads up. Included in that flash sale, just a heads up. You want to do camera two on this one real quick? Um, is the cute little reindeer fold it. He's on, she, I always call her she because I think she's so cute. She is on flash sale right now. Um, so a heads up on that. Also, here's a fun banner. I just want to show you really quick. Um, we still have a couple left, so we're okay on that. But this is the, whoops, where am I? Oops, that's the one that was on HSN. This one was on HSN, but is now on our website, the tree. And this is the one we just released. So they are completely different, but they're buddies because they're, they match. And then we have a reindeer set. I can't keep these straight here. We have a reindeer set that also, oh my gosh, okay, that also matches these as well. So those little guys are, this, this one right here is on flash sale. Just a heads up on that. Okay. What? <clears throat> is my mic okay? You're looking at me. Somebody right? said mic went off, but I don't see anything like okay. that. So just okay. Just one person. Love the banner, Beverly said. Um, hi, Donna. 
Uh, Glory says the sitting reindeer folded is so cute. We'll be getting that one soon. Awesome. Awesome. Quilty says love that banner. I know. Now, I don't know if you guys saw my sneak peek from last week for the seventh of this month with the bat slim line. Oh! Um, but Michelle put some, um, just some really, really thin magnets. You know how a lot of time realtors will come by and try to get you to sell your home and they'll give you little magnet calendars. Use those, cut them up, put them on the back of some items, and now you can decorate your fridge. So I have actually decorated my fridge with the creations Michelle did. <laughs> how fun, right? I, and I honestly, I'll be honest, I would have never thought to do that, but how fun to walk by my fridge in my kitchen and see Halloween decorations. I love this idea. So the more we can decorate our homes, I think the more we just feel happy and secure and and crafty. We get to be more crafty if we're going to start decorating our fridges. So I'm all for that. I've actually bought some magnets on Amazon, some cheap ones, but try to use those free ones you always get. Um, also, I think I already showed my I already showed my fall tray, didn't I, Kenny? In a video. Oh, I did on Monday. So on. Um, sorry, you guys. I have to take a drink. You guys have no idea what I've been going through. Um, you talk for a minute. I have to <laughs> turn be. off your mic or something. Well, I'm going to. I'm going to, but you have to talk. Is um, your mic on? What? Is your mic on? Yes, my mic is on. I, yes, my mic is on, but I don't know what to say. You are such a doer. It's been a busy month, even though it's we're only one day in. <clears throat> it has been a busy month. Yes. Yeah. Um. So, oh, they said change camera, Ken. Yes, thank the you. Thank you, you darling. You distracted me. Yes. Apparently, we are not professionals, as you can tell. <laughs> Sorry about That's that. Okay. That's so funny. I didn't even notice either. Thank you, guys. Thank you for always having our backs. Um, Stephanie K. Um, got um, her hit. Her message got hidden because YouTube doesn't like you to tell us this. But yes, please click share. Please click um, like and uh, subscribe and uh, heart or whatever system you're on. Um, the more you do that, the more it helps us get our name out to people that don't know us. And um, that really helps us because nowadays there's not really anywhere to advertise and it's mostly by word of mouth. So we really appreciate any time you share us with your friends. Um, oh, heads up, a couple other um, announcements before we get into, ooh, no, tornadoes in New Jersey? Dawn, <coughs> oh my goodness. Can we see the bat release? Um, uh, yes, hang on. I have one right here. <clears throat> this is one of the, this is just, okay, let's do camera two again, babe. Um, this is just one of them. Um, I don't have, that's you buzzing. Oh good, that's not me. Okay, but here, isn't this little guy cute? Um, it's a bat slim line, and the ones that are cute also that are on my fridge are on my fridge, but, um, the bat slim line is going to be available on the 7th along with another fold it. Now this is the slim line fold it. However, it will fit in a standard six inch machine. So those of you that don't have the bigger machine, that's okay because you can still use this one in your regular six inch machines. So that's really exciting. So um, just a heads up on that. That is coming the 7th. Kenny's already told me I did not order enough. Um, so I ordered more, but it won't be here in time for the flash sale. So if you want it on flash, you got to get it on the night of the 6th. Tip, 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 night of the 6th, right? Um, okay, so that's the bat. Today is Frank's birthday, so you better tell oh, Frank. Oh, Frank, Frank and Sharon? Yeah. Frank and Sharon, Frank, happy birthday. I didn't see that. Yay, happy birthday. November, uh, what is it? <coughs> Sorry. No, uh, September 2nd. Yes. So, um, Forgive me if you hear me cough a little bit. Um, I'm, I'll give you a little update on Stephanie's uh, crazy life. Um, I have bronchitis. Went to the doctor yesterday and um, I have <laughs> bronchitis. I added, the funny thing is, is I actually feel fine, um, but I do still have a cough um, from the cough I had, <laughs> what, two weeks ago. And so I'm on another antibiotic and I'll be fine, I'm fine. But the interesting thing is, is I've been coughing so much that they did chest x-rays to see if I had broken any ribs because I have severe pain. I can't lay on my stomach at night and that's how I sleep at night. <laughs> so I'm not sleeping very well, but um, on this, on my whole side here, too much information, I'm sorry you guys, but on my side here, um, it's, it's like severe pain. I literally cannot lay on my stomach. So um, I went back to the doctor yesterday and um, they did some chest x-rays. They have to, I guess it's hard to determine if, um, 
if if ribs are broken so the radiologist has to read them he said my doctor said if they're not br broken they're probably just bruised from all the coughing so um it's like whatever can go wrong <laughs> does go wrong around here i have a question <coughs> like everybody should post what is the well it's not really funny but what is the funniest way you have ever broken a bone <laughs> because I've because never heard of anybody breaking a bone by coughing. That is true. I've heard of football players like getting crushed by another football player and they break their bones, but for coughing? Apparently, <laughs> I'm a fragile human being. <laughs> I don't know. Yes. Yeah, so, have you, any of you ever? I've never broken a real bone. Vicky says, I used to break my ribs all the time when I had bronchitis. What? Thank you, Vicky. Because you know what? All the time? He doesn't believe me. He does not believe How many times? that this is possible. I should have taken him to the doctor with me. How many times has Vicky had bronchitis? Oh, Chris she says, I've done that before. Cough so much, I bruised my ribs. Okay, bruised. Bronchitis stinks. <laughs> Wait, is that why I have bronchitis? Yeah. yeah. I had a cold that didn't go away for three weeks. It was not COVID. I was tested, but my hip joints were killing me. My doc put me on an antibiotic and vitamins and prednisone, and I'm better now. Good. I'm glad you're better. No broken bones for Wendy. I what, does, never... what does Shelly mean? What? What does Shelly mean? Where did Shelly? Where was Shelly's? I didn't see it. On the Facebook side. Oh, my mother. <gasps> no, -uh, Shelly. <laughs> Shelly. I can't even. Shelly, that is not even true. Did she really tell you that? Shelly said that her mother broke a bone while busy in the bedroom. <laughs> And your mother seriously told you that, Shelly? <laughs> I don't think that's something I would share with my children. <laughs> I don't even I don't even want to know more information on that. Maybe one. that's when she was conceived or something. Oh, Kenny, stop! <laughs> um Jenny said my husband hugged me and actually cracked my ribs in the same place that your ribs hurt. Oh. I told Ken it was his fault. Not that he hugs me that hard, but um Shelly said my dad reached under her to pull her close and broke ribs. Wow. <laughs> Wow. Um, oh, Sylvia says, I have brittle bones and I broke over 100 before oh I was 15 gosh. years old. Wow. I just sneeze and break a bone. Oh, I've heard of that, Sylvie. Oh, my goodness. Honey bunch. Oh, wow. Karen says, constant coughing can puncture one's lung, too. See? See? <coughs> Deborah said, I've broken mine a couple times from coffee. See? Okay. It's true. Kenny doesn't honestly... These are do. one of those things you just can't make this up. You can't make this up. I know. <laughs> right? It is true. It is true. It is true. Um, oh my goodness. It's crazy. Um, I'm like reading all these. Um, so yeah, so Stephanie, we'll find out for sure. But if not, they're at least bruised. Um, I tell Ken it's his fault as a joke, but that's just a joke and I shouldn't joke about things like that. Okay, moving on. <coughs> so if I cough a little, I apologize. I'm not doing it to be weird. Um, I'm just doing it because I gotta breathe. <laughs> Let's see. Um, I showed you the little reindeer. I showed you, oh, so the winners, the winners from yesterday for our 12 year anniversary. I'm going to read them. Um, they do not need to be on this video chat or this video live to win. So they've, they've already won. Um, so let's see. Lots of $25 gift cards. So Belinda Pohl, P-O-O-L-E, you won a $25 gift certificate to our website for answering on our Stamps of Life Facebook page. Um, on what is your Stamps of Life story, how did you find Stamps of Life, and how fun, I'm gonna read them, okay? She said, happy 12th anniversary. I found your website so many years back that I can't even remember. Had joined your clubs, but life happened and I had to stop, but I'm, I'm still such an avid fan and watch every one of your videos. Have purchased so many of your stamps, dies, ink pads, papers, accessories, that I had to start buying all the totally Tiffany items to keep them in. I am so glad that your company is based on Christian values, thank you and ethics and that your family is just so close and wonderful happiness always to you all thank you belinda so um the, these winners you do not need to contact us um dina already has your information and she's going to send it right after this video is over to failing and failing will get those gift codes out to you <clears throat> the next winner is Susie romano and she was on stamps of life instagram page and the question was what is your all-time favorite stamps of life product stamp set die set card base tool etc and she said, Susie said, the products from the Moose Mountain class. Love everything from that set. And Susie, with your comment, you just won a $25 gift certificate to our website. Yay. The next one winner is from the Facebook fan page. And uh, the question was, tell us how card making, stamps of life, or crafting in general has added some sunshine to your life. The winner was Alfie Krauss. 
and she won a $25 gift card and her comment was card making brings me so much joy when I'm able to put a smile on someone's face. I send out close to a hundred cards each month to friends, family, my church family, and my Rotary Club. It helps to keep me from going to that dark place. I hear you, baby girl. Um, knowing that my creative crap crafting will be brightening someone else's day. Awesome. So not only, Alfie, are you happy while you're creating, you're also getting happiness from giving it to someone, and you're also creating happiness on the other end. So it's like a triple whammy. Isn't that awesome? I love that. I love that. And I think that's why a lot of us do craft is because it's like, well, what else are you going to do? Like, I always worry about people that don't craft. I do. Not worry, but I think about them. I think, what do they do? Because like we can still watch TV while we craft, right? We can listen to the radio while we craft. I just don't know. I don't know. Okay, but that was Alfie. She won a $25 gift certificate to the website. Another winner. I have two more winners. Um, this was also from the Facebook fan page. Post a photo of anything stamps of life. Your latest haul, a card, your messy crafty desk, anything. And I didn't print the picture, but Lori Depew won a $25 gift certificate with her picture. And she said, I love all my stamps of life products. And her picture won a $25 gift card. And the grand prize winner won a $50 gift card. And that was from the stamps of life Facebook page. And it said, what will you get with your gift card if you're the winner? And the winner on this one was Carrie Franklin. And she said, happy anniversary to the Stamps of Life. I would love to grab some slimline dyes or splurge on the upcoming holiday goodies, which there are some goodies coming on the 9th, our online release, live online release. So congratulations to those winners. Those winners don't need to contact us. We have your information already, and Faylene will be sending you gift cards. Um, so thanks for playing along, you guys. Um, we just wanted to do something a little fun for our anniversary. 12 years, wow. A lot Are we gonna keep. make it 12 more? Well, I told Dina, and I think I mentioned this <laughs> in my um, No Makeup Monday, um, at least 10. I, I, I promised Dina 10, so 10 more years. Dina? Dina? Well, because Dina was making sure she was still gonna have a job. <laughs> Dina in charge. <laughs> so I told her, you have a job for at least 10 years because I wanna do this for at least 10 more years because in, in all honesty, the last 12 whew, flew by. So in 10 years, I will revisit the idea of something. Who knows? Who knows? So, who knows? Might branch into something different? Yes, like my <laughs> grandchildren. No, no. actually, um, I have such an amazing team that I'm actually not working as much as I used to, especially since we don't travel now very much anymore. So it's kind of awesome. And um, I could do this for a long time. So I'm excited. Um, uh, Trisha says, question, Stephanie, if I start the decor tray in September, will I be able to add January through August next year? Um, you know what, Trisha, we are stopping the decor tray, our decor trays in December. Um, so if you see any of the decor trays that are ours that are limited edition, I recommend you get them now, especially the July one because it's very limited and it has that jar. It has this jar one that you can take out the items and put different things in each month. So this is the jar here. Do you want to show it on camera too? Mm -hmm. um, so this is the jar and um, every month you get something different to put in the jar. So this month it was the leaves. Um, so I highly recommend getting the July as soon as you can. Um, also, uh, hello. He, he's just not paying attention at all. He's like, I'm daydreaming. He's, yeah, <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. I'm um, thinking about 10 more years. 10 more years. <laughs> <laughs> um, but starting in January, what we're going to do is we will start carrying the Foundations Decor tray kits. So um, January um, and the next year, we'll do all of the months from them. But um, so I think we started in May officially. So May through December, we will have the limited edition once they're gone, they're gone forever because I can't order that many more again. Um, I, you're, the minimum order is very high. Um, so once they're gone, they're gone for good. So um, I highly recommend you at least grab that July because that's the most limited and it comes with that jar, which is really important. Um, let's see. Michelle wants to know any more info on the next online class. Yes, we will be offering it the first week of October for sale and then it will be the end of October. I'm not too close to Halloween, don't worry. Um, also, next week on the 9th, we have a live online release for our kit, our seasonal kit, which is 
gorgeous and a new ink color. Yay! Yay, yay, yay. Um, let's see. Loretta says, I would love to do what you and Ken do. Yeah, Loretta, thank you. Yeah, we do have amazing jobs. Um, it's interesting though, you'd think I get to sit and make cards all day long. Totally not true. Um, I don't get to make as many cards. I do sneak in time to color though, because if, like, if I have like a time to just sit and um, uh, watch TV for like an hour, I get out my pens and I get to color, which really makes me happy. Did you tell them you were coloring with the boys the other day? I did. On my No uh, Makeup Monday, I mentioned how my babies got a hold of my pens. <laughs> and um, I did buy them their own markers this time because, uh, yeah. Will the next Spectrum Noir brush markers bundle be with another Sara bag? Denise, my goal is to say yes. Kenny, will you send me any, write down really quick that, um, <coughs> excuse me, brush set number two? Because I got to check on that. It should be here. Um, Ken, is Stephanie's mic on? Um, yes, it is on, Sherry. I don't think anyone else is having trouble. Yeah. So maybe um, check yours, your side. Secret Weapon is back in stock, Mandy. Secret Weapon is back in stock. Finally! Yes, I'm very excited about that. Oh, you want to mention these <laughs> bags today, too. Oh. We have... These came the back in stock. Are you ready? Pink Karen bags. Pink Karen bags are back in stock. What? And the black is available too, but. Oh, black is available too, but pink you can only get from us. Yeah. The pink Karen bags are back in stock. So if you were waiting for this, um, we were waiting a long time. They finally came in. So grab one or two or three or however many you need. In pink, those are now available. The Karen. Kirsten are there also. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. Kirsten pink? Yeah. I need some of those. Nobody right. tells me anything. <laughs> so thank you. Yes. Oh gosh. Yes. Um, that's awesome. Okay, Cookie, it's okay, baby. She sleeps right below me, and every time I make a noise, she thinks something's falling on her because sometimes that happens. Yeah, that so she used to sleep down here, and whenever I'd make a noise, she would jump thinking something was going to fall. So we moved her bed over there in hopes that it would calm her down a little, and she still jumped when I did that. So sorry. They say you sound hollow. <clears throat> I sound hollow. Hmm. Oh, you know what? My mic did move a little. Let's try this. Sometimes. Maybe we'll try that. Maybe that we'll see if that works yeah. a little better. Let us know. Let us know. Now that I've changed that's it. That's on. That's on. <clears throat> okay. Can we get to see your finished September tier tray items? Have you done that already or no? Is that September? That is okay. <laughs> it's new looking. Yes. So I don't okay. know what month it is. Yes. Let me bring it over. Half of it will fall, but it's okay. Uh, I'm loving the rectangle tray, you guys. I, I, I have also. I have. I think three of the four. But where are the others? The uh, I. I'm loving the rectangle because it's just different. Um, do you want to do the camera two, maybe? Yeah, you just kind of have to hold pieces. Well, yeah, do camera two first so they can look at those three. Um, so here's uh, half of them. Half of, whoops, let me move it over there. Okay. Is that our so gnome fold it? That, that is our gnome fold it. This gnome fits our gnome fold it. And you have the option of putting the flower or the pumpkin that it comes with. So that is up to you the flower or the pumpkin. I did just the flower because I figured I wanted to be able to use my gnome at other times of the year. Like what if in the spring I want to use this gnome? Well, with the pumpkin, it would be kind of weird, right? But with the sunflower, it would be awesome. Now, if you played your cards right, you could make the hands hold the, um, and not glue the sunflower and drop in the pumpkin instead. I didn't go that crazy, but um, you could do that. Uh, it also comes with the fall letters and the letter tray. Now, just a heads up on this, the, um, the apples are from my calendar, okay? The apples are separate. That's from the calendar pieces. I didn't use all the apples on my calendar, and so that's where those came from. Then you also have the home, and uh, this one's really cute because I painted this white, and then I left the home natural color. I did not paint that at all. I didn't do anything to that. So that's really fun. And then at the top, we'll switch cameras because that's just the best we can do. At the top, you also get this cute little acorn. Now it comes with some leaves on it, but I took all of my leaves and put them in my jar. So I have that laying against there. I added some fun ribbons. Does the fall kit come <clears throat> with the tray or do you have to get that separate? 
The letter tray? The, the tray. No, the oh, whole Oh, the tray. tray itself. The tray itself is separate. The tray are itself. there different options to get for the trays? Yes, there are four different options. So there is rectangle white, rectangle dark wood. Then there's circle white and circle wood. Now, you might see these like on Amazon too, but ours are larger and with your club discount, it's cheaper. So just a heads up, the circle ones are bigger than the ones you find, might find somewhere else because Foundations Decor wanted it to be bigger so you could put more stuff on it if you wanted to, so which is awesome. Um, and then the jar items, the jar does not come with the fall, but the leaves, all of the leaves do. And so I painted those all white and then I inked them with different of different ink colors to um, decorate it. Also then um, the, the wood beads are separate also. So, but the ribbon was just from my stash. But um, yeah, so that's my September. And then I did my September calendar also um, I guess I should probably show that now. Sometimes I can make this happen and sometimes I can't. Let's see. Dun, dun, dun. And Helen wants to know. Oh. Whoops. Helen wants to know if there's a new green color ink pad on your desk somewhere. Like, is there, is there a new color coming out? Or there something? is a new color coming out. <coughs> but it's top secret? It's top secret till next week. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> um, but oh, here's my September. Ken always freaks when I take this off because I never put it back on the right way. <laughs> but here is my September. Um, why don't you do the yeah. camera two so they can really see that one. So here it is on camera two and uh, I didn't use all the leaves. Let's do three because then three? you can oh, okay. see it. Great. So I didn't use all of the leaves on mine because uh, I just didn't and I did not use the frames. So you can save the frames for another time. That's up to you or you could put them on there. Um, I figure it's better for you to have extra pieces then not enough pieces, right? So that's why I added extra. Um, so here I just added my little um, uh, apples. Now you could glue some apples on top there. I bought, didn't even bother. And then up at the top, I just did September and then I just added two little uh, apples there. And I painted this a light, light brown. I wanted it to be more muted, but I, I actually really love how it turned out. I'm really excited about it. I also added, we have, we have little twine a twine spool on our website and I added some twine to that also. So that's my September. Okay, so let me move that and hopefully put that back straight, which not ah. happens. <laughs> there, I think that's straight. Nope. <coughs> it's not? No. Nope. Why well, do you get your camera that's not straight? No, keep going a little bit more. Oh my gosh. Is that better? Yes. Okay. Whew. Good job. <clears throat> you saved it. Okay. Uh, is that bucket the same as the dye in the sunflower class? April, I honestly don't remember. I think it is, but I can't say yes for sure. I know it's very similar, but I don't know for sure if it's exact it's on the size. I tried to keep them all the same size, but <coughs> I just don't remember. I designed it over a year ago, so I just don't remember. I'm sorry. Um, let's see. Uh, Carmen says, is not in your website. I don't know what that means. Write what? that again, Carmen, on YouTube. I gotta take a drink, sorry guys. Mm. I don't know what that means. The jar, she was saying the jar. Oh, the jar, the jar is sold in the July kit. So go to the home decor button, click on the blue button on the home page. Let me show. And then, sure. Because we might not. <clears throat> so show that. Okay, so we scroll over there on the left. Home decor for life. Right? It was blue at a, at one time. Yes. Right? Okay. And then you're gonna click on tiered blue. trays. Mm -hmm. Tiered trays. And then scroll. Why well, isn't at the very top? That's weird. Keep scrolling. Mm -hmm. Keep scrolling. Go 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 more 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 more. Okay, so there is the September. And also the, what is that one? I can't read it. Beach. Oh, the so. beach. So that was the summer one. And then if you scroll down a little bit more, the one on the left, that 4th of July, what's it called? USA. It's the USA kit that has the jar. So the USA kit, and then the other one is the... Summer. Oh, the summer. so yeah. So summer and the other one was, I don't remember beach the name. Beach or... Yeah, beach. Double summer. Yeah, double summer. <laughs> okay, so that's those. Okay, we need to make a card. We've been yakking and we have a we have a meeting pretty soon. Okay, I'm gonna jump in and I'm going to make a card. The first thing I'm gonna do is I am going to grab 
the well where in the world is it here no that's a five by seven we don't want five by seven where in the world did i put them all away oh my goodness okay so i'm will we ever have the opportunity to purchase some blank wood squares and rectangle shapes for the calendar probably not but what i recommend well actually yes in the whole there is um kenny on can you go to the calendar section and show them the home version that one has lots of blanks so go to um the calendar part of that home decor calendar, calendar. part yep. whoops wrong one sorry and then um scroll right there that first one right there see that first one that says home on it all of those are blank and you can do whatever you want to them so you can um make it you know you anything decorate you want yourself. and those are extra okay. pieces what honey you can decorate it yourself yeah you can decorate it yourself so like for birthdays or anything like that okay so I'm going to make a card. The first thing I'm going to do is get out my A2 die, which I cannot believe is not out already. Uh, it's kind of weird. And I'm going to grab, let's do green. And are we still planning on having October, November, December yes. this year? Oh, Monday absolutely. Train? October, November, December are here. I mean, not here, but October is. And hang on, because let me show you a sneak peek of the October. Hang on. Oh, I'm going to show you this one because it's going to be, it's going to be very popular. And it's not made yet. I haven't done it. But do you want to do camera two? Yeah. Oh, see, yeah, it's just. But it's going to be our little candy corn is one of the items. You could do it with or without the face. The face is optional. But that is going to come in the October. So that's just a little sneak peek on that. Okay, so I'm going to die cut this really quick. And we got to make a card because we got to do something, right? <laughs> so I'm going to run this through. And, and I'm crooked, of course. And you know what? I need my Gemini because... <laughs> Doing this with possible broken ribs is not a good idea. <laughs> okay, so here I have my, and I'm going to hold it over, Ken. In all honesty, I hope they're broken at this point because then I can tell him, see, and you didn't believe me. There are some times that I've tried to use a die cutting machine, though, and I didn't have it lined up right that I probably could have broke a rib trying to, <laughs> trying to turn the handle. That is true. If you're not right. lined up the correct way, you, mm -hmm. you could run into some issues. Yeah. So now I'm going to grab a background die and I'm going to grab my Kirsten bag that has my background. I think this is the one with my background dies. Oh, actually, no, it's not. This is all my layering. Does the fancy pumpkin come with the face? It does not. However, somebody came up with a genius idea, with a genius idea to sell the face separately. So that is on order. So you will be able to buy the face separately from the old version. So if you have the old version, you won't need it. But if you do have the, don't have the old version, then you will be able to get it. Kim wants to know how many tri blend <laughs> trays are behind you stacked up. Two sets. Two sets. Two sets. Where are all my background dies? They're usually like right here. Ugh. Hang on, maybe this is it. I have so many of these. And I need to I need to like write on hit the top of these. What is it? Nope, these are my little peeps. What in the world? I have been working on here a they new are. They're in Karen bags. A new video. I saw a couple people asking, so I have been editing it, so we're getting closer. Fantastic. On uh, my videos, there's much more editing than Stephanie's because <laughs> it's natural and Ken is not so natural on the videos, so I try my best. I wonder so. if they've noticed that. <laughs> what? That you're not as natural. <laughs> I'm sure they have. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, was that mean? Yes. I hope that didn't well, come out no, mean. Well, no, it's okay. We understand what Okay, let them see the, um, what I'm doing. Yeah, can you line that up for camera? Sure. Three? There you go. So what I'm doing is I found my plaid die and background die and I'm layer, layering it with the outline die and I'm going to run this through. Now, let's be all honest. There's no way in the world with Stephanie's broken ribs. I wonder how many broken ribs I might have. I could probably, how many ribs you have? Like 12 on each side or something? I probably have like 12 broken ribs. Guys. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Don't feel bad. Okay, so what I have here is I have the um, die... Uh, taped together and I need to get some oh and I got more of these oh I got more of the large ones I'm so excited these are my favorite 
Okay, and so we're going to take this out, move that over. We're going to peel here slowly, okay? Sometimes people like go real fast and then some of the adhesive goes on the wrong side. Peel slowly, always on those, you guys. And then we're gonna lay this down right there. And we're gonna trim this side so we don't accidentally cut in the wrong section. And I am gonna grab my Gemini that is actually on the floor of all places because the last time I did a video. Ooh. Kathy says her rectangle tray is a little wobbly and I've tightened it as much as possible. Any suggestions? Uh, I don't have, can you like help me do this? Yeah. You're just like sitting there. Can you just grab all that stuff real quick? What stuff? On this desk so I can put this oh, on here. I didn't see. I just can't. Oh, don't let that spill. Okay, thank you. That kind of helps. Okay, so let me get cutting pads. Okay, this, this. Now, yes, you can use the smaller cutting pads in the Gemini big one um, if you have all the cutting pads. Oh, my goodness. Give me a second here. Oh, there's my A2 die. I told you it was here. <laughs> oh my goodness, where are all the other pieces? Why are not all the pieces here? Oh, hang on. I was die cutting over here too, you guys. I die cut everywhere. So professional. Look, okay, here they are. Okay, so we're gonna run all this through really quick. I think Stephanie needs a nap. <laughs> I kind of just woke up. Okay, now there's two buttons to turn this guy on, okay, you guys? Um, sometimes that freaks people out, but, um, and I think I have to go this way. Okay. Now this die is very intricate. I highly recommend, if you don't already have it, that you only buy it if you have a Gemini, because the Gemini is like an amazingly strong machine, and of course it cut the whole entire thing. Um, trying to put this through a manual machine is not very easy. Okay, so I'm gonna peel this up and look at this. Look at how gorgeous that is. Now, most of the little pieces came out. Some did not, but watch. When I peel the back off, most of those pieces will come off. Watch this, look at that. It like cleans itself, it's so cool. Because it has that adhesive on the back, so most of the trash comes right off there like that. And then one flick and it's all clean, which is so amazingly awesome. So I'm gonna add this to the front, just like this, just like that. Press, oops, got a little extra piece in there. Let's grab that. Oops. Okay. Sherry's asking, yeah, Sherry, the um, Gemini is back. In stock? Yes. Fantastic. Yes, <coughs> the Gemini, the regular okay. Gemini is back in stock on our website right now, yes. Now, I did cheat a little tiny bit, you guys. I um, cut this out using our, this is a sneak peek, kit club. Dun, 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 dun. So I'm going to add that right there. It needs a little bit more adhesive on the back. Maybe it's some, oops, you know what? I'm gonna add some more foam to it because it's always awesome to have things popped up. And when you have extra pieces of foam laying around, you might as well use them, right? So I'm just gonna add this foam Peel that up, peel that up. I'm gonna add this right to the front from our home to yours. Now, what I'm gonna do on the inside, this is where I'm really gonna show you some magic. I am going to grab a layering die. I could have used this layering die, but I'm gonna grab this layering die and I'm gonna grab white. Okay, so I'm just gonna grab white and I'm gonna die cut that and because I love my Gemini, I'm gonna use that again. And it's so funny, whenever I don't use one machine over the other, um, everybody always comments, does she not like that machine? No, it has nothing to do with that. It's just, <laughs> I just grab whatever's nearby. Um, and especially on my intricate dies, for sure I'm gonna use my um, Gemini. Our rotating okay. design board is sold out. Are more on the way? Do you know anything about that? Uh, I, uh, we will be getting more. I don't know we if do there are any on order. I'll have to do okay. another check. I'll check. Because I don't remember if those are on order or not. I'll do a check today of all the, because I need to make sure those brush markers are coming too. Okay, so now I have this piece right here, right? So now I have all this, they can't see it. I have all this white 
And yeah, exciting, not, right? Well, what I'm gonna do is I am going to, and I have to clean this out because it's dirty. I'm gonna grab this exciting corner die and it didn't get enough love. People didn't really understand what this was. This is in the add-on set and this is what it looks like. It is a corner die that has holly and berries on it. So what I'm gonna do, and I could have probably done this at the same time, but I really wanted you to see what I was doing. I am going to washi tape this to the corner of my inside of my card, okay? And I'm just gonna lay that down. And what it's gonna do, watch this, I'm gonna run it through my manual machine just cause that's nice and easy to run through. And what I'm gonna get is I'm gonna get the corner die cut out. So I'm gonna have like some negative space, right? So watch this. So I'm gonna peel this up. There we go. Now I have this cool inside. Look how cool that is. Now, honestly, you could leave it like that, right? And that's just cute enough. But I'm gonna do one more step. So first I'm going to add adhesive to this. So you wanna hold it up so they can see how sure. nice it looks? Because sure, I will. I'll hold it up better before I put it down. So see how you can see through it? Isn't that awesome? So you get the holly, so it's like the perfect corner. The perfect corner. Now, just for kicks. If you put it closer to the edge, you could fit it on all four corners on an A2. I didn't put it closer to the edge, so, but if you wanted to do that, you could, if you put it all the way to the edge. So now I have that, and I have already pre-cut some pieces with adhesive on the back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to literally add these in. Look at this, you guys. I'm so excited about this die. And it is on flash, just a heads up, for another uh, hour, I would guess, to mate, um, because I gotta turn it off eventually. Um, but um, I have that meeting at 12.15, so I won't get to it right away. Um, now, did I lose all my other pieces? I tried to put them all off to the side. Well, we're gonna cut some more. So I do have the red little berries. Now, on the berries, you're probably going to go a little insane if you don't have tweezers. So, um, yeah, we sell tweezers, of course, but, you know, you might already have your own tweezers. Um, but these are really nice because they're reversible, so you don't have to squeeze them too hard. So I'm just going to add that, and I'm going to add a couple more. Everyone, I know that the Geminis are available on the website. I think you have to sign in to be able oh, yes. to see them, right? Yes. Only, they're only available to club members, so you must be logged in. Um, we had some issues with some issues, and so only club members are allowed to buy them. Uh, of course, you get the club discount on them, but you need to log in to see them. So um, if you're not a club member, um, sorry, but they're only available to club members at that special discount. Okay, so I'm peeling all these up. And the club is only $11.95 a month. You could just be in the stamp club. Um, oh, also a heads up on the stamp and die hard club, you guys. We're gonna have to raise our price, but you, we will not be raising our price for any current club members. I'm not sure when that's going into effect. They haven't told me, but um, you will want to make sure you are in at that guaranteed locked price instead of paying the higher price. Okay, so I have all my little red guys in and I'm gonna need to cut a couple more green because, oh, oh, I'm sorry, they're right here. Okay, so here's my green. Look at this, you guys. And it's not even taking me that long, which is actually kind of surprising, huh? Because look how cute it is. And we're gonna, whoops, where'd he go? Grab this one. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. I wanna stamp something else in here too. Okay, so here we go. So here's my cute little green. I'll hold it up so you can really see it. Isn't that cute? And that was fast. That didn't take very long at all. I, I expected it was going to take a lot longer. Um, but that's nice and fast. And then I'm going to stamp on the inside. Uh, let's see. I have all my wreath it, stuff out here. It does show that they're sold out. What's sold out? The Gemini machines. Oh. I'm going to go fix that right now, everyone, because that is not true. Oh. So I updated yesterday, and I made sure that it was correct. Did you tell Utah? Ago. We are in control of those, right? I don't know. Yeah. I would I would maybe say, I don't know. Does it say in stock? Does, does uh, yeah, I checked, so I'm going to check right now. Enabled and in stock. Yeah. How come I can't find my other set? Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, so we'll just use this set. And I'm going to say, what do I have on the front? 
from our home to yours, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. Okay, so I'm going to add this one. And, ooh, I don't want to do black. Let's do a green. Oh, I have green out because I did a video yesterday and I needed spearmint. So we're going to use this. Now, I don't know if this is a new stamp. I always recommend stamping on scratch first. It doesn't hurt to do that just to make sure that everything is good. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. Okay, so we're going to ink that up. We're going to stamp right there. Perfect. Now, ooh, whoa. Now we'll do, oh good, the dog didn't jump that time. Now we're going to do one last thing. Of course, we're going to add our stamp on the back. And let's grab this. I always like to do these in black because I don't want to contaminate my pads. And I never clean these. So let's grab black. There it is. Oh my gosh, this, I got to clean this place up. This place is a mess. Um, created by Stephanie. Add that right there. Yay! And there we go, my friends. Look at that. That was a fast card. I'm impressed. So here we go. We have our From Our Home to Yours, right? And then you're going to open it up, and it has the Merry Christmas, and it has those fun dies that are on flash sale for one more hour. And then on the back, I have my Created by Stephanie. Yes, you can get personalized stamps on our website. <laughs> we always get that question. Um, let's see. Kenny, do you have anything else that I need to bring uh. up? I just updated the Gemini machine, so it is showing it's available right now on the website. Okay. So if you were looking for that, it does show up right now. Hopefully it stays like that, but... <laughs> <laughs> we got to keep an yeah. eye on that. That's yeah, we'll weird. keep an eye on it. Something happened. And then you'll want to look over any questions or okay. oh, comments yes. and all that yes. kind of stuff. Um, uh, Karina says, you do need a nap. Coughing can be exhausting. Seriously, yeah. Take a nap after your meeting. Maybe I will. I think I might. Um... When will the large spellbinders machine be coming back in stock, Kenny? Do you know? The large spellbinders? No, I think that is end of, well, I think they were saying the end of September, but the way things are going, it might not be until October. October. Yeah, so it's going to yeah. be a little while on that one. Um, Lois says, the quality of your stamps and dies are amazing. Love to open new stamp sets. They smell so good. I Thank you, Lois. We work really hard. Um, and if you ever have an issue with a stamp, just send us a picture and we will fix it. Because every once in a while, remember Kenny and I used to make our own stamps. And it is the biggest process you would, we had an 8,000 square foot building. Um, you would think you just need this one little machine, right? And in all honesty, besides a computer, you need one, two, three, four, five, six you need six huge machines where one of well a couple of them are um like we would be only like in this whole room we could fit one of the smaller machines that's how big they are okay they're huge well one of the main issues is when the photopolymer it's a resin it's like honey but it's clear when it goes on to the machine if the temperature in the room is one degree too hot or one degree too cold it doesn't lay out perfectly onto the machine as a liquid and every once in a while you might get an air bubble now if the air bubble is in the wrong spot it might affect your stamp now does that happen very often no i mean i think i've had out of all the stamps i've ever gotten I think it's happened maybe three times in 12 years but it does happen i'm not going to say it doesn't happen and so it's all about the temperature. It's all this chemistry stuff. It's insane, you guys. But please, if you ever have an issue with the stamp, you just send us a picture of it and we will take care of it. Um, that's been said. Um, will the standing reindeer fold it come to the website? Not this year, Layla. We couldn't fit it on the website this year. Um, uh, Lynn says, I remember asking you for a tour of your old stamp warehouse. Totally understand why you said no. Yeah, um, it, it's kind of proprietary, or is that the right word, information, but also the floor. So imagine spilling honey everywhere in your house. How do you clean up honey? Like, just think about that, because it, it's sticky like that. How do you clean that up? You really can't. You, you just can't. So we literally had cardboard everywhere because you'd have to walk on cardboard. Also, if the photo liquid photopolymer ever gets on your clothing, that clothing is ruined. So we'd always wear the same clothing pretty much every day, right? I mean, because it would literally ruin your clothing. So it was crazy. Do um, you have a way to get around the problem? Some people have just my house instead of our house. 
do you have any ideas on how we could do that? Uh, from my home to yours. From uh, well, this one says from our home to yours. Yeah, but they're just single person, I think. So they want to. Say oh, from my. oh, I see. Um, have any ideas, or maybe something we could work on in the future? Yes. Well, we have a lot to say from my home to yours. We do, and on other I sets? feel like we do, and that's why I think we did our on this one. Okay, so maybe you can <laughs> use a stamp from another set on huh, that has yes. that. Yes. Yes. Um, I'm trying to see which set that came from. I think that one came from the Kit Club. That this this stamp is in the Kit Club. Okay. Um, it says from our home to yours, and also says you're in my thoughts, it, my friend. So that one's more singular. Um, we haven't done a drawing or a giveaway. Oh my gosh, thing. we have to do it right now. We have to do it right now, right before we leave. Um, so, uh, do you have a question that you want to ask? I do not. See, <laughs> I'm putting See? it on you. I, I hate time. that you do that. I hate <laughs> that you do that. Okay, what is your favorite Christmas item the Stamps of Life has? It can be anything. It can for be, be from 12 years ago or it can be now. What is your favorite Christmas item that the Stamps of Life has? Answer that in the chat and you will be entered to win a $25 gift certificate to our website. What is your favorite Stamps of Life Christmas item? Um, it can be any time, any year. Um, if you don't know, um, you know, just say something. And some people came in late, so I think they need a reminder about, because I see a couple questions about it, the September 9th event. Yes, the September 9th event is going to be a live event. We're going to, of course, have flash sales. Now, this has nothing to do with the uh, the the release on the 7th, right? That's the Halloween release. Our Halloween release is going to be on September 7th. That's going to actually technically be the 6th, right? Um, but the 9th is going to be a live event, free to everyone, um, online live event, and we'll be releasing new products and our new seasonal Christmas kit that has a new color in it, which is very exciting. So you'll definitely want to tune in for that, and we'll have some raffles, and we'll have a live chat, um, it'll be a lot of fun. Aren't there some other things on sale that night, too? Yes, there's quite a few. There's like a couple Christmas so not things. Just the kit, not right. just the kit. Not just the kit. Okay. Not just the that kit. There's going to be... Actually, I'm trying, I'm praying that we're going to have the triangle bags from Totally Tiff that night also. Mm. That's why you see all those emails I keep seeing. <laughs> That was a Crickets. good laugh. <laughs> I just figured that was good for a laugh. Yeah, that's all I could say. Okay, so what are name? Yell off some of the things people are saying, baby. Okay, reindeer, pine cones, elves, oh, snow goats. We're all Christmassy today. Well, it's, I said Christmas. Oh, you said Christmas. Oh my gosh! I thought it was your any kind no, of. No, I said it oh. has to be Christmas. Elves, light bulb, fold it, gingerbread man. Oh, gingerbread. Yeah, swish card. Swish cards coming to our cones. website if you missed it. Christmas tree, snow globe. Snow globe. Oh, I love the snow globe. Nativity. Jingle oh. and jangle. Jingle and jangle. I love them. I Santa wonder. fold it. Santa fold it. Yes. Yes. Polar bears. Oh, All the polar bears. Yeah. Don't forget, this candy corn is coming next month. Have you ever thought about doing a polar bear fold it? I have not, but we could. That'd be kind of fun because he could hold like anything. Right. And then he could be year round. I also thought of a good one for summer. I thought if we could do a sandal, or could you do a pair of sandals? Would it work? No, I tried. You tried. I, I could probably do maybe one. One sandal. But I don't know. Is that kind of weird to have one sandal? That's kind of weird. Uh. Uh, <laughs> pudgy Santa and Mrs. Gingerbread, Nativity, Elves, Polar Bears. There are too many I love. Oh, good answer, Quilty. Polar Bears, everything. I love it. Snowman, the snow globe. Uh, Susan, uh, Tiffany, Susan said Tiffany got a whole bunch of the triangle bags and mentioned us. Yes, we're trying to get them. <laughs> Does Tiffany have them at her house or something? I, I think she just showed <laughs> them on garage. video. We oh. will have them on the website, yes. Cool. Okay, Kenny, you're going to have to pick a winner. Yeah, I have we a have winner. Our video, I mean, our meeting. Our winner is from YouTube. YouTube, okay, dun, dun, dun. And she said nativity, so that must be the stamps and dies, right? Yeah. And her name is Lorraine Garland. Lorraine Garland, you just want a $25 gift certificate to our website. You are going to email Faileen at info at the stampsoflife.com and she will get that $25 gift certificate out to you. Yay! Okay, my friends, we got to head out. Um, we have a meeting at 1215 that we need to get ready for. But I just want to say thank you, you guys. Thank you so much for spending these uh, Thursdays with us and my Mondays on our No Makeup Monday. Um, we really appreciate just the, the camaraderie. What's the word? 
camaraderie, Camara yeah. friendship would friendship be better. Friendship with everyone. Um, I can't say big words sometimes. Um, although the yesterday at lunch with Katie, I said catapult. Um, it catapulted. Catapult? Why would I you said, say that? I said it catapulted you into the future. Is what I said. And I go, mm. Katie, I used a big word. Did she know what that meant? She did know what it meant. <laughs> it was like a double whammy. It was awesome. But. You guys, thank you so much. Um, it's because of you, Kenny and I get to do what we love, and we just want to say thank you. And um, when you buy from us, you guys, just so you know, you're buying from Ken and Stephanie. You're not buying from a big corporation in a big building. We no longer have the 8,000 square foot building. Our building is what, 1,200 square feet now? <laughs> uh, but yeah, so um, you're buying just from Ken and Stephanie, and we just want to say thank you. Kenny has one thing to say. Real quick, because I know now everybody's thinking about September 9th, don't forget about September 6th because... Yes, that's the Halloween. What is that? That's the Halloween. The bat folded and... and the other stuff. Yeah, it's so Halloween. I don't want you guys to forget about that just because... On the 6th, the night yeah, of on the 6th. Six. Six because yes. everybody's interested in that one. So if you joined us late, the 6th and the 9th next week are... Our big are days. Monday and Thursday, right? Okay. The 6th, all right? No idea. Oh, that's it. the 6th is Labor Day. So when you're with your friends oh. and your family... That night, go log in and make sure you get that um, bat folded. Are we still going to do fast. no makeup Monday? Well, I think we'll do it together. Let's try to do it together. Okay. We'll see. Okay. Thank you all so much. Have a great day. Stay safe. Stay safe. Stay happy. And keep crafting. Okay? I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.